Hi Grade 11s, welcome to this video. Today I'll be starting with you, CAMS. And with regards to CAMS, there are three motions that you need to know, which is uniform, simple harmonic, and uniform retardation and acceleration. In Grade 11, we mainly focus on the uniform motion. And that's what we will be doing today. And as you can see, in the given, you are given a follower and a camshaft. And then you have a follower. This type of follower is what we call a wedge follower. And then it does have a shaft there. In this question, we are given the displacement graph. We are supposed to draw what we are given here, which is the follower and the shaft and then move on to drawing the cam and the cam profile. So please, when you answer this question, you must always ensure that you answer, I mean, you read the instructions. What I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly copy this. And how do you know where to start? This end point of the wedge, the sharp point of the wedge, is always in line with the bottom part of the displacement graph. So we are going to start by projecting the bottom part of the displacement graph to the center line, and then we can start by drawing what we are given. So I will zoom in, but I'm going to assume that you do have the question in front of you so that you can follow along what I'm doing. So I'm going to project this piece, the bottom part of the displacement graph, across like that in construction. And then immediately I can start drawing the wedge follower. It has a width of eight in total. That means it's four millimeters on each side. So this is just me making four on each side. And then I'm going to extend that up. And then immediately I can start drawing the angle part of the follower. And then it has a height of 58. Once that is done, we can now just outline the drawing. And then from here, the distance between the follower and the center of the camshaft is 26. So I'm going to take my ruler and measure 26 going down. Once I mark where that 26 is, I'm going to extend that center line. And then if you have this, you can use it to draw the, the circle, but mine doesn't have 22, so it's 23. So I have to use my compass to draw the circle. 
So radius 11. Place it here. And I have my circle and then immediately I have to I'm just going to open a bigger distance like that. Just reduce it a little. Draw another arc, which will then show the direction of the rotation. Immediately take my set square and hatch. Catch the shaft. So what I just did here, I just drew what is given there at the bottom. So we just copied this whole thing here and hatched this circle to show that it's a shaft that goes there. So once now we have done that, we can start drawing the cam profile. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to divide this shaft into 12 equal parts that represent these 12 equal parts that are here. So once again with my set square, I'm going to use the 3060, making sure that I use construction lines 30. Sixty side. So you just use the 3060 when you are dividing the circle into 12 equal parts. And then remember, we are trying to represent the movement of the follower on the cam profile. So what we do is the cam will be rotating in an anti-clockwise direction. How we label, we label in the opposite direction as this. So we are going to label clockwise. That means we are going to have our zero degrees here, 30, 60, 90, So there it's 360 and zero degrees. So they do shave the. So once we have that, we can now start plotting the point. So our points, we are going to start with zero degrees and 360 degrees. Both points are here. Then we will move on to where this point in the graph is plotted, 30 degrees. We are going to take it all the way to the center line, then transfer it to where 30 is. You put it here at the center, open all the way to that distance. Then you have a point. Then we move on.
to 60 degrees. In the center. All the way to where it's touching 60. So we have a point. Then here we have what we call a dwell. By the way, this is this was a rise. This motion on this side. Then here we will have a dwell. Then this side we will call it a fall. So the dwelling period is from 90 up until 150. So that means when we bring that part here, take it all the way to the center, then we're going to project that point. Ninety, one twenty, one fifty. Then we will end at one fifty. So we will have a point at ninety, one twenty, one fifty. Then now for the falling period, one eighty. There. So as you can see, I'm going step by step. Then one eighty two hundred and ten. To forty. Two seventy Three hundred Lastly, three thirty. And then for 360, it is the same, but you can just show that you do understand. 
that you started at zero and then you went all the way back to 360. And then once this is done, you can join your points using a smooth curve. You can use a flexi curve, a French curve, or just your free hand. And that is your profile. Thank you for watching. I will be seeing you on the next page.